it's Beat here and I'm back for the weekly free instant tournament. Let's jump straight in and see what we can actually do. So here it's gone two diamonds, two hearts. So my partner's got a week two in diamonds. Opponents can probably make uh, four hearts. I want to at least push them up. I don't want them to just play. Uh, I'll compete two, three diamonds. Like, I'm going to be on lead, so no need to tell my partner about clubs. I could bid three clubs, because if they raise clubs, then maybe we've got a... Like, maybe we want to sacrifice. Maybe I wanted to sacrifice anyway. Well, it's too late for that. Probably wanted to sacrifice. Not in diamonds, though. Oh, I can get rough some diamonds, so in five clubs we probably lose. My partner's got ace, king, queen of diamonds, so my partner's got nothing else. Uh, so we would have two diamond losers. I've got two hearts, but dummy had four, so there's probably six. My partner's probably got like a three, one, six, three. No, my partner's. I haven't seen the queen or jack of clubs. Uh, East could have queen jack, but if East started with four clubs, then my partner had two. And I've only got six diamonds. Well, maybe they're a three, two, six, two. There's the Queen of Clubs, okay, so that's out. Yeah, my partner was a uh, 3166. Um, yeah, I just got the rest of the tricks here. Uh, so they're making 12, so I th could have sacrificed, I think. 42%. Five diamonds plus one. Two diamonds, two hearts, five clubs. Your partner just corrects that back to five diamonds. Um, if I do sacrifice, which I could have considered doing in diamonds or clubs, the opponent's bid on over it. So I managed to bid and make six diamonds doubled. Which I think it just like goes club lead. Yeah, it's, it's definitely difficult for them to beat it. Uh, if they lead the queen of hearts, you can let that hold and then get a club rough. Uh, but forty-two percent. I probably should have done more. First board of the day. I think I was a bit asleep there. Sort of just started powering through it. So this one, I'm gonna just slow myself down. Make sure I actually go through the process of. Uh, Working out what I want to do. So 16 points, one, three, four, five. Uh, there's a normal one club opening. Brief thought about opening a no trump, but I'll just start with one club. And reverse into diamonds. Uh, three diamonds, I think, is forcing, because they play a convention called Blackout, um, which is kind of like the reverse of fourth suit forcing. So I should be three no trump. That's a splinter. Like my, my hand's basically as bad as it can be. Not really int like for a reverse, I could have a much better hand. My partner can still cooperate completely towards slam. Um, diamond lead. Okay, so we've, we're off the ace of hearts, ace of diamonds. That's a start. Okay, um, uh, low diamond, I, I don't want them to, like, I think I should just discard my hearts now, because I can't afford them to win and push a heart through. This does mean that they can tap that hand.
Okay, so now there's four diamonds there. So diamond to the queen. Spade discard. I've come out of diamond, really? I can just draw trumps now. Another spade, and I can just overtake the spade. And I have the rest of the tricks. Spades were just 3 2. Um, that was pretty soft defense right there. 21%. Club rebidding and no trump showing 12 to 14. Oh, yeah. So, like, if you wanted to describe this hand as balanced, which when people see the spade bid, are like, yeah, let's play, show this as balanced, you should probably just do it the first time. Like, you just want to bid one no trump the first time. If you are doing it, not that way, uh, this way, you are showing an unbalanced hand, no, you are showing a balanced hand with 12 to 14 points. We have 16. It's completely misdescribing it. I see this a lot, that people are like, oh, partner's got spades covered, so now I'm happy to play no trumps. What they're doing here is just horribly misdescribing their hand, though. They just want to open one no trump if they were going to do that. Uh, if you're going to open one club, you're planning on showing this as an unbalanced hand, so you can do that. Uh, you could rebid two clubs, but again, that just shows a minimum hand, which this hand's good enough to actually compete with. And... Uh, other people just rebid three no trumps, which is a a drastic overbid, but shows a solid club suit, which they don't have. Uh, yeah, other people got so someone managed to cooperate to six diamonds where they overbid their hand, but I am shocked that so many people just misbid this hand. Horribly. I might be able to pick up certain spade holdings that aren't 3-3 three, three as well. I can try and set up clubs for a discard as well. Don't want to win the ace just yet. I want to get control of the trump suit. Okay, so they're 3-2, so I've only got two heart losers. Um... If I want to play spades, I think the best way is to lead up to my spades twice. I still need more information about how I want to play the diamonds if they lead a diamond through. Um, and I want to potentially set up clubs. And if I want to lose a club, I want it to be the west hand. But first of all, I think spade towards my king jack. Okay, it looks like the... Uh, Ace of Spades is on side, and the 9 appeared, so maybe it's 10-9 Doubleton. I'm thinking of just ducking a club to the West player. So, club to the 9. Uh, they... That just picked that up. Okay, so at this stage, I could play club, club. But East might just be able to trump that and push a diamond through. Uh, East showed up with the Queen of Clubs and King Queen of Hearts, probably the Jack of Hearts as well. Let's try a spade, see what we get. Okay, the Ace appeared. So, no more spade losers there. Okay, so at this stage, I just have one Trump and one Heart. I want to just lead a club and just discard my Diamond loser. And they get their trump. So, making two. 53%. Okay, finally on the way up. Everyone's in two hearts making two. Um, there was room to misguess diamonds, but didn't seem anyone actually did that. One spade past three spades. Okay, we've got a very distributional hand here. Uh, I want to be betting. I don't think I'll be able to bring hearts into the picture, unfortunately. So it just looks like a four club bit. Yeah. 
So, not sure if I'm happy or not that I got past here, but uh, they have an 11 card spade fit. Got a diamond lead. Uh, East raised to three spades, which was uh, invite 10 to 12 total points. Probably has a bit of distribution. We've got the diamond lead. Uh, I can't really get to the hand to take the club finesse, so I'm just going to win and start drawing uh, trumps. And I want to sneak a club past them, so let's just try a low one. Okay, so clubs were 2-2. Two, two. And now I can just overtake the diamond. Oh, they weren't even threatening that. And four rounds of diamonds will make me get 11 tricks. So we have the rest. I could have made the beer card, in fact. Drop the beer card. Oh, so I could have run all my clubs, then overtaken my diamond. Oh. What was I doing? 60% for four clubs, making 12. Uh, someone managed to just bid and make five clubs, which I guess is down on a heart lead, which isn't realistic, but is going to make most of the time. Seven diamonds. Yeah, so if you double and bid five clubs, you are showing a really, really strong hand. Um, not so much like two places to play kind of thing, so. Seven diamonds did not go well for them. Someone went down in clubs. Wow, they started with the Ace of Hearts lead. And then just abandoned it. Both times, wow. Alright, like I don't mind five clubs. I definitely think it's an option. But uh, four clubs felt like about right. If partner can't raise that, it's, you don't often want to be there. Looking at this hand, I wasn't sure I wanted to be in five clubs. So, uh, it made, but I'm happy with that. Anyway, currently running at 44%. Moving on to board number five. 14 highs, 6 card heart suit, I'll just start with 1 heart, and I will go to 2 hearts, it's pretty pushy. I don't like bidding so much if my partner isn't uh, trying at all, like here, 17 or less, 12 to 19 total points, feels like I'm probably showing a better hand than that. Not having a short club was also kind of relevant. Anyway, uh, West has exactly four spades because of the double there. Uh, we have two club losers after the lead, a diamond loser and two spades. Uh, I want to try and trump the, the club. Now West can over rough me, but uh, that doesn't matter. I want to duck one spade just to cut communication. Okay. Um, so at this stage, I still have a diamond loser, a spade loser, and some heart losers. Uh, clubs are 6-2, so West can rough this. I kind of want them just to have uh, the third trump. So I think I want to draw one round at trumps. So they get the spade, and if East has the Ace of Diamonds, I don't think that they can get a trump promotion, but here they can. Yeah, so it didn't work. Oh, they had the long trumps anyway. Down one. Doesn't feel like a good score. 14%. Wow, everyone's making this? <laughs> they just pull a diamond at trick two. How on earth are they making this? Oh, they crash their spade on it, so it sets up the 10, so they don't get the trump promotion. That is savage. I didn't really expect that. Um, like, they can...
Pulling a diamond at trick two, you're hoping to sneak a diamond through, I guess. Um, but when they rise with the ace of diamonds, you still can't get there at all. So I didn't see any point in trying a diamond there. Um, I just wanted to be able to try and rough a club and have it so that if this hand had three hearts, they might not be able to get the trump promotion. Um, I was hoping East had the ace of diamonds and that they couldn't untangle it from there. Whereas I feel like if you play a diamond, you're just guaranteeing that you go down. But it didn't, and it worked. It's tough for the defense. Anyway, 14%. I'll move on to board number six. Like, it does, does feel very instinctive to pull your singleton diamond there, but I'm not sure on what layout it actually works for you, except for missed defense. Uh, I want to compete to three spades, but I don't want to encourage my partner too much, so I'll just pass the first time. Doubles, just take out. Okay, so, yeah, my partner's got a good hand here. Um, so, we have a club loser, and a spade loser, and maybe a diamond. Seven to nine total points. They don't have that strong a hand. They might be able to get a rough here. Okay, we got to sneak one spade past. Um, and they can get a club rough now. Uh, so, West has five clubs and five hearts, one spade. Um, five hearts, five clubs, one spade. So I got two diamonds, unless hearts are six. Uh, like, West might have six hearts and five clubs. Like, they didn't bid two no trumps for the miners. So West could have singleton jack, singleton ten, or singleton nine of diamonds. And I can then pick that up. But uh, not anymore. Okay, so they do have the 5-5, five five, so i got the rest of the tricks. 53%. Very flat board, some, except one person passed out four hearts. Looking at the vulnerability, but we have a massive fit with our partner, so it seems right to uh, bid four spades rather than double them, even though they're vulnerable against not. Got 12, 17 highs and a five-card suit, so I'm going to treat this as 18, 19 balanced. Except my partner showed five spades. Um, I do have a double stopper in hearts. I'm considering still opting for no trumps by bidding something like two no trumps. Uh, 18, 19. It shows only two spades, which I don't really like. But we're playing match points, so I'm going to go for it. Three diamonds, new minor forcing. Partner still wanted to play spades. I also wanted to try and protect my uh, queen of hearts here. Okay, this looks like a pretty awful spot. We have the spade loser, a club loser, a heart loser, and three diamond losers. So I need to first see if the heart finesse works. Need to see if the diamond finesse works. Need to see them have five diamonds, four hearts, and they're cross roughing. So at this stage, 
King Jack to five diamonds. They only bid two hearts. West has six hearts. Uh, can't cross over there anymore. So we'll just. Good. The king's offside. So we've drawn trumps. Tangle the diamonds and claim one less for another bad score. Seven percent. This is not going well. Uh, I'm not disappointed with what I'm doing here. So someone got to two spades. They opened one no trump. Um, one no trump very popular, but I feel like this hand's far too good for it. Um, three no like here yeah, <laughs> solid seven card club suit. They got to 3 no, which didn't work well at all. Your partner's got quite a misfit, but you can get out for down one. Um, so if you win and go ace of spades, jack of spades, then you've got two hearts, four spades, a club and a diamond. Um, so basically 3 no, you sort of want the uh, spade to be king double turn on side. It's awkward with the blockage there. Um, but I think the hand's worthwhile upgrading to 1819 for the five card suit, so I'll do that again. Certainly didn't work out well. And there was a two club bit in there. Oh, one club and then two spades. So drastic underbid there, but that one worked out well for them. Um, yeah, anyway, currently after seven boards running at 36%. Have a quick recap of this. So board one, I think I, I played a bit too quickly. Should have considered sacrificing, but all in all, nearly everyone did the same, um, even if they pushed them up a level. But I think that's probably right. I think that's my worst choice so far. Board two, everyone misbid this hand. So solid seven card uh, club suit got shown here. 12 to 14 balanced got shown here. Uh, unbalanced with 12 to 15 points got shown here. So all of these people that uh, managed to do better than me misbid their hand. And I think the one no trump bid is very common. Um, but it is like a very common mistake that people make. But happened to work out well this time, but I dislike it immensely. Then uh, board three, two hearts. This was a pretty stock standard board. Board four, four clubs, pretty standard board as well. Board five... This one, pulling a diamond up feels like the normal thing to do, but then the opponents can just draw trumps on you, and you have no play whatsoever other than uh, your diamond loser, your uh, two club losers, your two spades, and your heart to lose. So, I don't... Like, pulling a diamond up is assuming misdefense. Whereas playing a club... Like, I, they can kind of still get the... Uh, cross rough or the trump promotion going but i feel like i might have some legitimate line but failed board six uh we got to four spades and made that they got their roughs but uh, pretty stock standard board and then this one where i think i upgraded so even though i'm running at 36 percent, i think i'm content with how i'm playing the results certainly aren't going my way but that's going to happen from time to time um yeah, but let's see if we can finish with one good board. 10, 14 highs. So, spade pass and no trump, so two hearts. And we're back there. Okay, so partner's got quite a useful hand here. Um, we've got three club losers, two spades, and some hearts. The opponents didn't bid at all. Um, I think West would like make a takeout double with their 5-1 sort of 4-3 shape if they had a singleton heart. So hearts are probably 2-2. Two, two. I can discard a spade on the King of Diamonds. Um, can't duck the spade, that's for sure. Yeah, so hearts are 2-2. Two, two. Uh, 
I do have two spades and three clubs to lose. I could just play Ace King of Diamonds, pitching a spade, and exit a spade. I don't need to lead a club up at this stage. Okay. So now after that, uh, they'll have to open it up. So low club. And they get the extra club. And the rest are mine. So two hearts making 10 for 60% and bring my total up to a mighty 39.29%. Uh, thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this weekly instant tournament, even though I did woefully, I came last. But not sad about how I was playing. Uh, I think I made decent choices mostly throughout this. I'd make nearly all the choices again. But uh, certainly got punished there. Thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.